Greetings, friends. There is a certain common knowledge about the lions of Nazca. Geoglyphs printed all over a vast desert in the south of Peru. Gigantic figures that resemble animals, plants, or even humans waving at the skies from a remote past. But do we know everything there is about the lions of Nazca? The short answer is no. And it's undeniable that the true mystery that hides behind them surpasses even our own imagination. Known as the spider, the monkey, the alcatraz, or the hummingbird, these figures have brought ardent academic debate throughout the years. These have spawned numerous theories, but these could never find true answers to the questions that sprouted until today. In this channel, we will tell you all there is about the mysterious enclave that has driven mad even the most brilliant researchers and scientists for more than a hundred years. Today, we will focus on telling you what lies in this desolate wasteland of the Peruvian Pampas. It's needless to say that figures such as the ones we've mentioned beckon the imagination of the general public, and it's no wonder, as these enigmatic geoglyphs seduce one's curiosity. They are drawings carved in the arid desert of Nazca. Their design is unique, as they have been outlined by one single line that does not interrupt its course until the end of its route. Its dimensions range from 50 meters to 500 meters, which is by no means unremarkable. They are plentiful, as there are dozens and dozens of carvings, and they can be found on the plains as well as on the hillsides around them. Their shapes vary, as they range from zoomorphic figures that represent birds, mammals, or even fish, to pythomorphic figures that represent a variety of plants and vegetation. We also find anthropomorphic figures, uh, geoglyphs of people waving at the sky. Despite how inscrutable and impregnable the secrets of these extraordinary symbols may be, and also in spite of the increasing popularity of these symbols over the past hundred years, the truth is that they only represent a small fraction of what lies, or what is hiding, in this peculiar dissecting barrage. Endlessly long lines, gargantuan arrows, and unfathomable rectangles dominate these also immeasurable plains that extend all over this territory. These are bigger, more numerous, and much more mysterious, and they present a formidable challenge for researchers all over the world. Impossible creations, colossal structures that would render any engineer speechless. But what are they like? Where are they situated? Why and how were they created? Hang on, because here comes the good stuff. The kilometric lines, which name this stunning enclave, are extensive lines outlined across the desert from all directions. They consist of two parallel, dark-colored lines, which are, however, filled with lighter-colored materials. Their length ranges from 50 meters to a mind-blowing length of 50 kilometers. Their straightness, which is perhaps their most uh, remarkable feature, presents very few flaws. So you get an idea, for each kilometer of line, there's barely one meter that can be considered flawed in terms of straightness. Drawn by expert eyes, they keep their extraordinary straightness despite the terrain's orography. They resemble tracks, roads to nowhere, paths that are born and die in the vastness of this barren wasteland known as Nazca. But if what we have unveiled so far is already impressive to you, hold on to your seats, because the concept that you might have about the lines of Nazca is about to change. Much more numerous, much more enormous, and much more difficult to decipher are the colossal arrows. These are not as well known as the geoglyphs, and still they have astonished even the most brilliant researchers all over the years. Their shape is that of a triangle, and their dimensions can reach lengths of 2 kilometers and widths of 100 meters. Their numbers surpass those of the geoglyphs 5 to 1, and they accompany the straighter lines, entwining with them from their tip to the widest parts. The reason behind their construction is something we will talk about in future episodes of this exhilarating journey. And now, to finish with this cyclopean adventure, let's refer to the monumental rectangles. As long as the arrows, these rectangles have the particularity of keeping their tremendous width the same throughout all the trajectory. They are not as numerous as the arrows, mind you, but their size would make even a lorry look like a fly just flying by. Drawn by godlike hands, these rectangles surpass everything that we have seen to this day, and they will be our focus in future videos. And now, uh, allow me to ask you, what do you think is the most exciting part about this subject? The enigmatic geoglyphs, the impossibly inscrutable arrows, the massive triangles or the endless lines? Uh, put your comments down below, and remember that we will be glad to have your comments as inspiration for future videos, and we will be gladly reading your ideas in the comments. And now, smash the like button if you've liked the video, and subscribe if you please. 
Also, don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss any of the next episodes, each of which will drive you closer and closer to the answer to the biggest question we can ask about this amazing topic. What are the lines of Nazca? I am Alberto Escudero, representing the director of the research, Carlos Hermida, and this is Salvar Nazca. Have a great one, and we'll be seeing each other very soon in the next video. Goodbye. Solo en YouTube.